I think our, our guys handled this like a one game uh, elimination tournament. You know, I, I don't, you know, I don't, we don't look worry about other teams. You know, this was, we would not have the opportunities that's available to us if we didn't take care of business. So I think they did look at each game like a championship game. And that's what we tried to stress, really starting with South Carolina. That's when it was just a frenzy and in meeting rooms and, uh, you know, you start throwing that word championship around and, and, uh, you know, we don't worry about the other teams. We just, and I think we had that atmosphere. We had that feeling around here, especially the last few. They've obviously been performing at a very high level. I think someone said 24 regular season straight wins. And obviously having a quarterback who's been there and guided the team down in the fourth quarter for those two scores, that's, that's a plus. But, uh, you know, when the foot hits the ball on Saturday, that's all kind of out the window. You just got to execute, you got to play. I think they're a little bit different. You know, I think, uh, you know, one thing you always about, we always evaluate is we always go, like I told you this before, you go flip on their kickoff return and see how hard do they go. Really, really hard. Is there emphasis on fundamentals tackling? You know, is there fundamentals on uh, protecting the ball, blocking people? And do they play field position? And it's yes, yes, yes. But they're not the only team. I mean, there's other great teams in this conference that do that. Well, we had a big recruiting day, and I think, uh, you know, if you're a player, you come in and watch the, the – the relationship between the coaches and the players, you know, you're out of your mind if you don't see that and you place a high value on that. You know, guys get promised, I'm going to start, you know, I, we're going to start you, we're going to do this, going to do this. And then wait a minute now, here's a group of coaches that have a great relationship with the players and Jermaine Cunningham sticks both air, hands in the air, air and says, I'm just living my dream. You know, in the locker room with the recruits and, you know, I don't know where my kid go. My kid would go play for that group right there. Because that was that special, and that's once again you just don't know I'm recruiting such nonsense anyway. Sometimes that uh, you know it's kind of cool to see that to, to witness it, see it, and uh, be a part of it. I try not to be, and, and I you know I'm gonna everything that when you ask those guys that we're gonna not worry about that. And you know I, I do mention that because I I think I watched their eyes when we talked to them, and 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 Franz did say about everybody, and I because I heard that earlier in the year they get to make history by beating the Gators. Wait a minute. We get to make history by winning another one, and you get to make history by winning another one. And I just kind of, I also have a try to get a pulse for our players. What catches them? You know, if I hear them see me young and eat their granola bar when I'm talking about something, then I move on to something else. If I see them lock in, then we keep pushing. And uh, I kind of saw, I see a little. When you say that, they could make history. We've been using that a little bit.